Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to cheat. Um, kind of gone from best practice to okay practice to now you just want to get it done and you don't want to do anything parametric at all, although sometimes this can come in handy. Um, so what we're going to do is a generic annotation and a note block. So basically I've gone in and created um, under file new family I've gone to annotations and I've created a generic annotation. So if you go down, oops, annotations, there's a generic annotation RFT. Okay. And I've created one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and load that family right now. So I'm going to go to F, load family and I'm going to go to my custom library, my annotations. And if I scroll down to the G's, there's a generic annotation finish. If I open that, it's not connected to anything like a category or a material. It is not parametric. It just allows you to put in areas to fill in, like with text and things like that. So the way you place it is you go to Annotate and Symbol. And in the pull down, you'll see your symbols, like your north arrow and your center line, but this is considered a symbol. Um, I named it Generic Annotation Finish as the family, so it, that's what it is. And it comes in, and it, we'll look at the family here in a minute, but I'm just going to place it here on the wood. It doesn't really matter where I place it because it's not looking at anything. It is completely independent. Um, and if I pick it, you'll see that there is a material tag, comments, and a material option. So it's works pretty much the same. So if I was doing a material tag for the tile up there, I could just type in CT-02, right? And it'll put that in there. I can move this up here, right? And then if I pick this again for the material, I can put tile. Okay. And then if I want to, I can add a leader to it. So it'll put a leader on it and I can bring that leader in and, and point to it. Or I can just do what this one does and get rid of the leader and place it directly on there. But again, it's not reacting to any information in the file at all. So I'm going to change the, this to 20 degree, right? So it's pointing at that. And then if I copy this guy over here, right? And I just come in and change this guy. And we want to change this to, um, oops, vinyl tile, vinyl, right? And just, you're basically just tagging something as if you were doing it um, with a text tag or something, you know. It's a little bit more interactive and in that you have a symbol that you're using. But Okay, so now we got those. Let's take a look at the family. So if I edit the family, it looks pretty much just like any other tag, right? And it's got a label in here um, that um, is the material tag default. And then I've just put in a couple of other parameters like comments and materials here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Or actually, let's edit this guy. And I'm going to make it opaque, or sorry, transparent. And then I'm going to come in and create a masking region and just pick around there and check. Okay. And then load that back into project over at the existing version. Okay. So basically that's what we've got. Now what I want to do is I want to make something like a schedule. And to do that, you go to view, you go to schedules and you go to note block and you will see your generic annotation finish and you can click OK and then you take whatever you want. So if I take the material tag and the material over, click OK, I get, let's go ahead and pull this guy over here, right? I get these guys in here, right? So let's see, oh, I need to copy this one over here. I was like, I lost my vinyl. 
So um, if I come in here, VF01, you'll see it appear, and this is going to be oh, no, vinyl. All right, and then I need to update this to wood because it's not right over here, so I need to make this wood. So you can see it's not reading from anything. You just have to make sure that your coordination is working between these. So now you have this note block and you can sort of add and subtract to it as you like based on the parameters that you add to the family. Okay. All right. So that is it. Again, I'll leave this file, um, the files up on the server so you can grab these tags if you want to. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.